Hey, what's happening everybody? Pragmatic Addict here. So, we just got the official trailer for Peter Pan and Wendy. Now, I'm gonna be honest, uh, I'm not really excited for this film. <laughs> uh, I wasn't too excited for it, even back before I heard what kind of a disaster Pinocchio was, which I still haven't seen. I know, I put out like two different trailer reactions. Uh, Pinocchio, the classic one, is one of my absolute favorite Disney movies. Never saw the Disney Plus one. I don't know. I was kind of excited for it, and then the closer it got to release date, I just, I don't know, I felt weird about it. I felt icky. And I'm not gonna lie, this one, <laughs> I'm not feeling so good about it either, but I am always curious when they drop these live action films. Now I am gonna say really quickly, The Little Mermaid. Where the fuck is that official trailer? We've gotten the TV spot, we've gotten the teaser. This movie comes out in like two months. Where the fuck is that trailer? Now I did read that the movie was like not even finished yet, which is concerning. Now originally I didn't even care about the Little Mermaid movie either. Uh, and then I saw like the teaser trailer in the theater and I was like, oh, okay, well, <laughs> looks like we got to see this in 3D. <laughs> it looks beautiful. I'll say that much, but this one, it, like Pinocchio, it is just straight to Disney Plus. And I am also f very familiar with Peter Pan, uh, both Pinocchio and Peter Pan. Uh, I watched a lot as a kid. <laughs> so again, I'm not feeling too hyped about this. I don't know exactly what we're gonna get, but let's check it out, guys. Official trailer, let's do this. Tell me. I don't even know who they're having as like the cast. How did you come to Neverland? <laughs> oh, okay, I was gonna say, I don't know if this takes place like after the movie. Boys. So? Hmm. Does. Oh, okay. I mean, the costumes look good. This looks a little funky, though. It looks like, from what I saw, like the, the beginning of the trailer, I was like, this looks like Peter Pan if, like, it took place in the Jungle Book universe. <laughs> okay. I mean, for a live action film, it looks. fine. I think the casting is very off from Peter Pan. Everyone looks spot on but Peter Pan. <laughs> well, I can't say spot on because I haven't seen Smear or Captain Hook yet, but... <laughs> they even got Nana! They got the dog! <laughs> so it looks just like the Peter Pan classic, except for Tinkerbell and Peter Pan. Uh... And I like the fact that they're like doing little flashbacks and everything. It looked like. Okay. <laughs> Again, the horse and stuff, like, that wasn't in the original Disney classic. So it looks like it's the Disney classic adapted to the screen with just. or adapted to Disney Plus live action with just like some more fantasy elements. Also, it said April 28th. That's. Damn, that's soon. I'll say this. Actually, I don't know what I'm gonna say, but I'm gonna I'm gonna attempt at saying how I feel. So when I saw the Pinocchio trailers, I was hype. That looked like it was not gonna be bad, and apparently it was just a shit show. This one doesn't look great. I mean, it doesn't look bad. It looks like your typical Disney adaptation, like live adaptation, like literally just copy and paste in live action form. I mean, everything from the costumes to, you know, the clock tower, to the Lost Boys, to, uh, what was her name? Tiger Lily. It looks like they're doing all- and they even got- Nana, they even got the dog! Now I know, you know, ethnicity is a big thing right now with, like, Disney, you know, with, the uh, Blue Fairy being a woman of color, as well as, you know, Ariel the Little Mermaid, which I didn't think- I didn't mind any of those. But Peter Pan and Tinkerbell, I think, like, what is bothersome to me right now is that everything looked pretty spot on, but that just threw me off. I don't have a problem with it, I just got to adjust to it. 
But yes, it does look like, you know, they're throwing in a little bit more to the story. You know, we're seeing some flashbacks and stuff. We're seeing more of like a fantasy kind of element to Neverland. So we'll see what we get. Uh, I will actually attempt at checking this one out. I don't remember why I didn't review Pinocchio. I was excited for it. I think I just stopped caring. But this one, again, I don't think it's going to be great. But I will check it out. But yes, guys, uh, that is going to do it for this video. Let me know what you guys are feeling about Peter Pan and Wendy. Are you guys looking forward to it? Do you guys think it's going to be a shit show? How do you guys feel about live action adaptations of Disney? <laughs> That's pretty controversial. But yes, guys, that is going to do it for this video. I will see you guys again very soon. I hope you guys are having a great day, and I will see you very soon. Take care, guys. Have a safe one.